Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today's project is going to be to tear apart this carburetor from a 2003 Kawasaki KLR250. The problem with this carburetor, or well the bike in general, is that when I start the bike it'll run and idle, but when I give it any amount of throttle it dies. I've had this same thing occur in the past, but for different reasons. One time the airbox was cracked, and another time a hose had fallen off. But this time, I've checked all of that and everything seems like it's okay. Um, so I think the carburetor is actually plugged with uh, junk. Now I, I went ahead and I checked everything uh, like I had before. I checked for the cracked airbox and I checked for uh, disconnected hoses or air leaks or anything like that. And I couldn't find any problems that way. But what I did find is that when I took the side cover off where the air cleaner is, this foam pad that sits on the side of this cover and rests against the air cleaner, you can see the indentation here of the air cleaner, um, this foam pad is all disintegrating. You can kind of see the little foam pieces are just kind of flaking off in my fingers here. And what I think has happened is that these little pieces have flaked off and gotten into the carburetor and clogged things up on me. So I'm going to pull the carburetor apart and just give it a good cleaning and see if that solves my problem. The first thing that I'm going to do is remove the bottom of the carburetor, or I guess what you'd call the float bowl. There's just four screws here holding it on, so I'm going to pull those off and see what things look like in there. Now that I have the screws off, I think I'm going to have to help this a little bit with a screwdriver. Just kind of break the seal that's here. I just want to be careful I don't scratch the, the mating surface there, but I just got to pop this off a little bit. So you can see there's a rubber gasket on here. I'm going to try not to rip that. I'm going to try and reuse it. Although a rebuild kit for this carburetor probably is not, not a bad investment and probably not that expensive either. But anyway, right away, I'm going to bring this over here. Not sure if the camera, so, camera will focus on this, but you can probably see in there, there's a bunch of sediment. And actually there's dirt in there or something, material, gritty material. I don't know if that's the foam or not, but there's a bunch of it in the bottom of the float there. Not, well, maybe not a bunch, but there's some. So that tells me that there's stuff floating around in here that just doesn't belong. So now otherwise, on the surface everything looks okay, but there is some evidence of material in the groove here on this jet. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but there is like a little bit of junk in there. So I wouldn't doubt there's some junk stuck up in there, but let's go ahead and pull the floats out of here now. There should be just a pin that I need to push out of there. I might need a little uh, sharp tool to push that out and then uh, we'll get that out of there. So what I'm going to do now is pull the floats off and I'm just going to use this poker tool to push this rod out here. Now I can grab that with my fingers and pull that the rest of the way out. And this should just slide out. Now I've got to be careful I don't lose the needle valve. That's just held on to the floats by a little clip, spring-loaded clip there. So you can see there's the needle valve. And that looks good. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape or anything. It's not worn. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any uh, damage to that. So I'm going to set that aside as well. And then here's a look at the floats. They look okay. So I'm going to just set those aside too. I'm going to use this 8mm wrench. And I'm just going to loosen this. Pull it out of here. And boy, you can see that that thing is loaded with junk. I'm not sure if the camera's focusing on that, but you can see it's full of green junk. And gritty green junk too, whatever that is. Like I said, I don't know if that's part of that foam or not, but it is... Boy, that almost reminds me of copper corrosion in there, but it's full of it. So now I'm going to pull out this next one that's in here. And that just needs a flat-headed screwdriver. I'll just back that one out. 
think that's out. A little bit of gas there. And that one's got the junk in it too. It's not quite as bad. Doesn't have it stuck to the outside, but there's some in there as well. So what I'll do now is I'm going to pull the mixture screw out of here as well. And I want to be careful because there's going to be a spring on this one. So. so again, even that has got some of that scungy green stuff on it. And I took a, a second look at the needle valve that was attached to the floats. And on one side, it's clean, the side that I was looking at before, but you can see on that side, it's got that stuff on it. So whatever that is, that's all over this carburetor. So I think that's all we can get out from this side. I'm going to flip it over, take the top off now. So we got the top of the carburetor here, and there's just four screws on that as well. Okay, well, you can see this side popped away, it popped out. I got the spring there and the top cover, and that all looks pretty clean. Set those items aside. But now I'm going to pull out this rubber diaphragm here. We'll pull this out slowly, and we'll take a look at this guy. And you can see that this has got some of that stuff on it as well. Not much, but there's a ridge up here. Let's pull this all the way out. Okay, so that just comes in, and I don't know if you can see the discoloration on it there, but towards the bottom, it's all covered in that green stuff. And uh, this thing seems okay. It's got some of that residue, but this is just all green at the bottom. And the inside of this looks good. The rubber diaphragm looks okay. No issues there. The slide looks okay. So now, one other thing here. There's a sleeve that's down here, sort of midway through the carburetor. And it's below one of the jets that I took out. I can't quite get it out. I'm going to push it out from the top here with this poker tool. And hopefully that will push it the rest of the way out. There it is, and once again, there it is, and it's discolored green just like everything else. Originally I was going to have just one video that showed the disassembly and reassembly of the carburetor, but it seemed to be getting a little bit long, so I've decided to split it up into two pieces. If you'd like to see the second half of this video, that will show reassembly of the carburetor and installation on the bike. You can click the link in the description below, or there'll be a card that'll pop up just above, or you can click on the panel that's on the end screen coming up shortly. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.